in trouble, getting past the guard, or whatever, knee slice, whatever you're trying to use. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin one of his arms, whatever side I want to go to. I get, the, I get wrist control, and I'm not trying to fight him arm to arm. What I want to do is pin it. So I'm going to use my body weight, and I'll come forward up onto my knees. Now, he can tell you my body weight is driving onto his wrist. <clears throat> I'm gonna put my head to his chest, and now I'm gonna uh, tripod up. So see if my toes are active, I'm gonna push up with my toes to lift his hips off the ground, All right? What a lot of people will do is once they get the hips up, they'll sit here and get into this fight trying to push the arm under. <clears throat> if he's stronger than me, one arm against one arm, it's, it's not gonna happen. I'm gonna take his hips over his arm. So I pin. Head comes down, get up onto the toes, tripod to lift the hips. Now watch, I'm not gonna move his arm. I'm gonna move his hips over the arm. And I pass it to the far side. My hand comes under and I cup at the wrist. Once I have it and I have that grip, I'm gonna drop his hips and my hips, all that weight down on his arm. Now Jamie will tell you it's super uncomfortable. He can't get his arm out of there. Now I turn my hips and start working to break the guard. Once I have it, I can either slice with the inside knee or I can hop. As soon as I get this knee here, it comes to the elbow to help us assist keeping the arm trapped. Get my cross face, set out, second knee comes down, now I can let go of the arm secure my side control.